down there. And Kefka's over here as well, so they should realize that this is going on. Limp dealing a little bit of damage. Torrent's going to connect. They have the nice little bit as they waveform forward. Hanskin trying to keep the storm alive. They go through one remnant and... Oh, Kefka getting body blocked. What? Oh, Ake, okay. you killed him. Why would you do it? And now Excalibur jumps through, switching over to strength form. Oh, that's a pretty nice one, but he's going to pay for it as well. Clown Town has come around, and Jonas and Fam again. What is his bash chance? How is that a thing? But Alliance are going to scale incredibly well with the Storm Spirit. Like, for me, he's going to probably be the best part of it as they catch a really nice torrent, and that's, that's what you need to do. Oh, Solitude! The turnaround! Jonas! Making it happen! Oh, that was such a great play, but now Hanskin might end up paying for it as well. So he ends up trading the Kunkka, or rather the Timber Saw, for himself, but they find the Io in return. Shadow Bladed Drow looking for their Kump, and now they're going to be able to go forward onto Kefka. He should go down here, and yeah, wall dropped as well in the vacuum. Still alive. Load is going to go onto him, but got slowed by that Frost Armor, and can they find something else? The high ground boat damage is coming out. CM ulti. Oh my god. That was destruction. EGM making the plays, and now Pablo also going to get ran down. Oh my god. CM did so much in that fight, and they are going to be able to take down that Kunkka. Maybe Solitude as well! Oh, Jonas! Spidey senses a tingling. This ward paying dividends. Both sides very comfortable. They jump forward onto Kefka. He gets the mechanism off. Still fine for the moment. Now the X combo is going to come out. Pablo did not have his boat up as of yet. And now Limp's going to jump forward for him. He has a lot of stick charges, but isn't able to get him off. And now the question is, how do you take this fight? Oh my god, goes through a ton of damage on the lip, but a really nice crush as well as the Gust onto Solitude, containing him for the moment. EGM went for the ultimate, but he's going to end up dying from that. And now looks through for the chains, trying to bring down one hand skin, tether away, a nice relocate gank out. But now they're turning onto the Slardar, misses his crush. They've still got the amp damage. Ake's in the area as well. They get the Gust onto Excalibur, so he can't really continue his fight. And the buyback from the CM wants to go into this one. They're going to go after Solitude. The amp damage is there, and the crush is not going to be there quite in time. Solitude just trying to get away, but he is going to have to finally perish. Bloodstone Suicide comes out with the first couple of charges not really going to matter. This fight has gone on so long that Pablo has a boat again. If they want to counter-initiate, they can go on to EGM one more time. Now the boat current combo does come out. Limp pulled back into the wall, but still the tether away. Hanskin's going to be pulled across the map. They want to try and fight again around Solitude. The adaptive strike finally flies, and they find the kill onto CM. That's a dieback for her. They don't have E-Blade up for the side of Horde. Well, they will have it back up again. They don't have Boat. They don't catch the Silence either. I feel like they're luring them into a bit of a trap. Solitude is amp damage. Kefka still does throw that Iron Shell on top of the Timber Saw. Counter Initiation play could come out in a second if they want to. 30 seconds until Boat is up and online. Limp a little bit of an overextension with his Storm. They get the Silence onto two, but the Chain Frost is bouncing and it doesn't actually do enough damage. EGM on the other side, gonna be able to get off her ulti and now they jump forward, are gonna be able to find that kill. It did not do as much as they would have wanted. Loda is now also caught by the X, pulls it back in, but a really nice cut. It doesn't matter. Excalibur on top of him, eliminates the Drow Ranger. Now the Chakram on top of Loda again. They drop the Sentry Ward. They spot Limp. Are there any sentries? There's a sentry right here. If Solitude gets spotted, this could go disastrously. He's going to go into Pablo instead, but Guardian Greaves keeping him alive. The Lotus Orb also does come out to make him... Not silenced any longer, and meanwhile, there's the initiation coming in. A really nice crush as well. Excalibur going down. EGM on the high ground does get broken by the boats. They're a little bit more tanky, and now already they're going to try and jump forward for more. But Hanskin, is he going to go down for it? Doesn't look like it. Two for two exchange already. Storm Spirit looking for the kill. Catches Kefka. The Darkseer does go down, and now Loda Shadowbladed looking for Solitude. The smoke, yeah, the counter-initiation play is going to be there. Solitude is very tanky, but he's not going to be tanky enough. Silence is taken off too late with that Lotus Orb of the Alliance. Oh, they kill off the Courier, too. Oh, man, that was not the play. And now Stormstreet going to jump for it on Pablo. We talked about it. No great way to save him. A good E-Blade, though, is going to make sure that they can't get the right clicks onto him. 
So Excalibur saving his teammate. Now the vacuum wall onto three. Is it going to be enough to follow up? Crush is huge though. And now Limp going for a bit more of a play. They do end up throwing out another adaptive strike onto the Storm Spirit, trying to run away from there. Another good silence comes out. Excalibur wants to go after Loda. He's trying to chase. Limp is going down. He is just getting that extra little bit of separation. They have relocate available, but they don't use it because he has the Aegis. So he's already down once. BKB pop for Loda. They're going to continue the chase. Shadow Blade is already there, and hands can just demolished by Excalibur. This is so scary. Shiva's guard gonna get popped. He gets vision onto everybody. Looking for Kefka, and now we also have the Lotus Orb already thrown out. Kefka's gonna go down. Limp is gonna die also, though. Excalibur finding that one. They're getting a lot of damage from EGM. Excalibur trying to run away. He's out of mana, though, and now might go down. Can they survive? No. Double for Loda. Kefka's gonna throw the Ion Shell on him as well. And if they go for that initiation, there's the crush. They're gonna overcommit for this. And now they can go for the counterplay. Vacuum wall onto three. Nicely played. BKB pop for Loda the whole time up in the top lane. They're trying to kill off Excalibur here. Limp is gonna be able to throw out the long duration stun. EGM is doing a decent amount, but ends up getting it broken. And now the right click's going down. He eats the cheese. Is it enough? I don't think so. They end up breaking it immediately. Chain Frost doing work. And now Loda goes down to the Chain Frost, continuing to bounce. Limp maybe an overextension. Ake pops a go. Scepter, fine for the moment, Kefka is gonna die, Jonas ends up losing it. Aegis down, and now Pablo, he does have another boat in a while, but I think that they're gonna be able to chase this limp, so close to going down there, Solitude wanted it. Another Torin, and now the Shiva's guard out as well, they're still taking the barracks though, over here on the other side, excuse me, that's just the, the morph lane. They need to be careful because bottom lane, Excalibur getting jumped upon, Shiva's guard out as well, Kefka's there, they drop the vacuum wall, nicely played, but is it gonna be enough? EGM on the other side, Glimmer Cape, as well as the ulti, but immediately broken by Ake with the Chain Frost. Silence on to two. He's going to end up e-blading himself, so Solitude still alive and tanky in the midst of this fight. Excalibur going to go back in again as well. They X marks the spot. Loda, he's taking a lot of damage. They get the counter initiation play there as well from the Slaughter. On the other side, Limp doing a good bit of damage, but not doing anything really to Excalibur. And now Loda is maybe going to go down. They find the kill. A pretty nice whirling death. And on the other side, Limp sheep stick for the moment. And trying to bring him down. He's just so damn tanky. Limp, he's going on to Pablo now. I don't think that they can stop him. They throw out another E-Blade combo, the Adaptive Strike as well. Three are already gone for Horde, and they get another vacuum from Kefka onto Limp. They pop the Ghost Scepter as well, trying to keep him alive. Kunkka's gonna buy back into this fight, and now it looks like Alliance are ready to push again. That Bloodthorn coming in valuable. They break the Lincolns a second time with the Adaptive Strike. They're maybe gonna even think about going again. Bottom lane. They're going to run them around. A very tanky hand skin with his heart, but the BKB has now been popped for Loda. Top lane is still being pushed in by the Storm Spirit. The Ratastic plays are coming up with the kill off Loda. That's actually a huge problem. And now turning their attention onto Limp. Can they kill him? Torrent is not going to connect. A nice zip away from Limp. And suddenly the sheep stick on to Kefka. Want to break the Lincolns. Want to get another X mark to the spot. They find the sheep stick from Kefka. Now turning on to Limp. They have another X mark. Pull him back. The torrent lifts up. He's gone down. Alliance lose four. And now Horde. Can they make anything happen off of this? They want to replicate it. Morphly picked up a rapier. Let's go, boys. Limp. Oh, they do jump forward. Pablo, they're going to TP boots on top of them. The BKB's now been popped, and meanwhile, the vacuum back onto Limp. His Lincolns is down, but they get the X. All right, pull him back in. They don't have the sheep sick in time. They're running away inside their base. Alliance, this is not your base. They're taking it, though, and that's going to end up being a dead Limp. All right, now Loda also in trouble. They do not have any vision, and they are going to be able to possibly bring him down. Now, Adaptive Strike goes through. That's two dead. They did a ton of structural damage in the meantime. Jonas gets lifted up. They have this vision just barely wearing off. And now the BKB down is down for Slardar. They are going for tier fours. Buyback on the two cores immediately. Jump forward, sheep stick onto Solitude. Meanwhile, the Bloodthorn comes out on a Pablo. He's starting to drop the turnaround. Break the Lincolns of Lim Limp. If Horde are able to do this, this might be their moment where they can make this type of a play. Jump forward, bringing Limp low. Not dead as of yet. They're turning onto the tier four towers. Excalibur wants to hit it. Buy back onto two cores. I don't know if they have the damage to bring him down. All right, the whole side of the Horde is now going to back out. 
They're just going to be content, at least for the moment, for these towers. But at the same time, the base of the horde is going down. If Alliance realizes this, they could TP boots in for it. Excalibur going for the tier 4 towers. Can they bring him down? They jump forward, bringing him very low. Rapier is going to go down on the ground. Can they find it? Solitude is low. Oh, Ravine Rapier on the ground. Nobody's going for it. Kefka's there as well. EGM popping his ulti out. Oh, in the back lines, though. They're taking the base. Excalibur needs to defend it. So the Rapier left still on the ground. They only take down the barracks. And now mid, they're in a lot of trouble. This is Mega Creeps. The base is down. Oh, I don't think they can do it anymore. I think that the Horde might have lost this one. They buy back on everybody. They need to hold desperately. And Alliance just not feeling comfortable jumping yet. Buyback status, still a minute for cooldown. Oh, and Solitude gets jumped upon. Where's the rest of his team? Silenced as well as Hex. The Kafka wall gets dropped. BKB's been popped for limp, and now the buyback immediately by the Timbersaw. They pull him back in a second time. The rum buff is going to be there. Handskin dropping low, but not dead as of yet. Solitude counter initiation play. Load is going down. That's one time. Secondary wall gets dropped. They might be able to do this. Limp is out of mana. He's getting right clicked by Excalibur. The gem is on the ground, but more importantly, Load is about to go down with the rapier on the deck. The backdoor protection is already gone. Kefka trying to hold these desperately they have the rapier again and loda is down now for a hundred seconds no buyback if they can hold right now they can go down mid and make this play horde might just have done it and i don't know if this is going to work limp pops the bkb just to try and stay alive and they actually break it cp Aki did it limp doesn't have mana limp's going down oh the chain frost Aki, did you make the play did you win the game i think you did boy Limp, if they can find this kill hero, would be so huge for them. Missing the timber chains. He's now down for 100 seconds. The Ancient is still exposed on only 1600 HP. They're trying to just hold out as long as they possibly can, but they've given the Rapier back now. They still are going to go back in, and now with a Creep Wave, it might be enough. Oh, it, it, even if it's a base race at this point, I don't think that they have enough damage. With the Slardar and the CM, they're going for the throne. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the Horde might have done it. They pop one of the glyphs. Backdoor protection, they're going in. They get the vacuum back onto the side of the Lions, and they're trying to find the kill, but it looks like they're going to be able to do it. Horde taking down the Ancient. They win the game. Alliance get destroyed in the end. The Horde have won.